Murray, Vice Chairman of the Committee. Uh, thanks so much, Mr. Chairman, and um, thank you all for being here. I know it's been a long day. Um, but, uh, Mr. Hochberg, I, I think it, what members, policymakers want to know here, with uh, reauthorization coming at the end of the month, um, is, is some sort of basic admission that there are some challenges in running an organization, right? There have been discussions of indictments. The IG is sitting next to you. There are ongoing investigations there. So what would you say? Well, I, I should probably let the IG answer himself, but we've had one no, I'm asking indictment. you. And we've it, had one indictment, sir, one indictment. Or, and the person pled guilty and that came to light because another employee saw something that didn't look proper. And the other investigations, the Inspector General has said, at this point in the investigation, none of them involve employees. But you can ask him directly. Okay. So are there any management challenges? Sir, I've run a company for 20 years. Every organization has management challenges. So this is have, no different? This, this is, is no is different? They're, they're, every organization is different, but of course they are management challenges. We are trying to move forward. We are trying to be responsive to Congress, responsive to exporters, work with the private sector and not compete with the private sector, make sure we are competitive globally. There are a number of those challenges. Get more small businesses to export. So government survey of your employees at XM. Government employees, not your employees. You, you had the organization, but they don't work for you. They work for the American taxpayer. Only 42 percent of XM, Export Import Bank, employees agree with the statement. My organization's leaders maintain high standards of honesty and integrity. Is that sufficient? Pardon me. 42 percent said that, and about 30 percent had no opinion. So that's fantastic, is what you're telling me? No, I'd like to As do better. As a policymaker, I'm supposed to look at this and say, keep going, man. You're doing fantastic. Without question, sir, I take this very seriously. We all take this seriously at the bank. We work, we, and we put a right. much higher priority on improving the workplace environment we have at Exxon Bank. I'm, I, of course, I'm disappointed in those results. Okay. Some sort of admission is sort of helpful. Um, I'm not trying to inject humility. Uh, to a grown man here, but I am simply saying that that should not be in any way acceptable. And there should be a firm desire to improve the standards you have within the organization that you head. One giving the, the opportunity to say that is what I am telling yes, you. Yes. One of the key objectives we established. Just because you say, you know, we have only had one indictment. How is that a sales pitch for reauthorization of the organization you head up, that you explain in great, great detail the importance of what you do? And, and your defense is one indictment? We have only had one indictment? I mean, hell, the American people look at Congress and don't say, well, gosh, they have only had one indictment. Wow, that is good. We are happy. Walk me through this. I would be happy to, sir. Some, some have asserted in this committee that there is one in, there's, the organization is full of corruption. What I tried to indicate there is one indictment, one employee. The other investigations involved outside entities, companies and individuals trying to defraud the government. That is what I was referring to. In terms of improving the workplace environment, last fall we, we, we established four objectives for the bank, and amongst the top four was making this a first-year place to work, improving management development, improving opportunities, making this a better place to work. So and we are working hard at that. You know, so in the same survey, you have half of your employees agree, or the half the employees at, at the organization you had agree that if they disclose suspected violations of any law, rule, or regulation, uh, they, sh they will not fear. Um, actually, only half say that they would not fear uh, reprisal for that. Well, if you look at the data, sir, only 20 percent actually disagreed with that statement. Not, uh, not 20 percent of the employees said they yeah. actually did not this feel is, This is like saying I am like bragging. I am firmly middle management. I am a solid C student. Like this sort of, this, it, it, you should be making a better effort on this to acknowledge that, yes, there are failures, 
That would be a helpful thing, I would think. I'm not trying to change your sales pitch, but I'm just telling you, it ain't working, man. It's just not working. We're not buying it when you, when you say that the management practices are sufficient and good, and just because you've raised this as a higher priority, that that's sufficient. We should be happy as policymakers when we look at your charter. Right? Something's got to change. Time of the gentleman has expired. The chair now recognizes the gentleman.